Sister Sandy wants to sing. You want to sing, Sister Sandy? Uh, Sister Sandy, Sister Sandy, Sister Sandy. Uh, okay. Just want to give an opportunity to thank God for them. Let's all stand. Let's give a great big hand to Jesus and Brother Mark Spence and Captain Mark Spence. Does anybody love Jesus? Amen. Does anybody really love Jesus? You asked Jesus if he really loved us. He'd say, look at the cross. I not only told you how much I loved you. He showed us too. Amen. I showed you how much I loved you. He said you was in a condition that no, not even a righteous man would dare to die for you. But my love has been commended to you, Lord, you, and that while you were yet a sinner, while you was unrighteous, while you was unholy, I died for you. Amen. Sometimes love is just a word. But love is a, a verb. Because love requires action. Drop. Right. Yes. It's an action word. Uh -huh. hey Amen. Why do you fix breakfast and cook at home? Because of you love your family. Uh -huh. Why do you wash your clothes and try to keep everybody looking good? Because uh -huh. you love them. Right. Why do you go out and work 10, 12 hours a day to provide? Because yeah. you love your family. That's right. Amen. Come on, love is an action word. It's a verb. Amen. Praise the Lamb of God. Amen. I don't know if there's much left for this tonight, but I will attempt to give what I feel. We're going to read out of chapter 37 of Ezekiel. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Chapter 37 of Ezekiel. God does these things. Yes, He does. God Woo! does these things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Start reading at verse number 1. The Scripture says this. The hand of the Lord was upon me, carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, lo, they were very dry. He said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. And ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I was prophesied, there was a noise. Behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, and there was no breath in them. Amen. Thank you. You can be seated. Amen. I'm going to title this tonight, Therefore. Therefore. Kind of a strange title, but that's what we're going to call it. 
We done heard a lot of this, but I'm sorry we're going to have to hear it again. All right. Come on. Praise God. The Bible said here, amen, Ezekiel's talking and he begins to talk about how the Lord, the Spirit of God was upon him and he carried him. Yes. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, it'll take you places. That's right. He, he had never seen this thing and that's what the Spirit does for you. It'll show you things. It'll reveal things to you. It'll help you understand what God can and cannot do. Amen. And he began to show him in this valley that, amen, all throughout the valley, it was a very wide place. But all in the valley, he said there was bones, many bones. Amen. But they, they were dry. They were very dry. Yes. And he began to look around at all that was laying there. But the word of the Lord came to him and said, Prophesy upon these bones. Yes. Amen. And say, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Amen. Come on. I find it amazing, J.R., how that a valley full of bones that are very dry could hear. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so many people sitting in the house tonight, all over this country, Come on. that have two working ears on the side of their head, Come on. and they still can't hear the word of God. Yeah. Praise God. But he prophesied as he was instructed to do. And the Bible said there was a noise uh -huh. Uh -huh. as these very dry bones begin to rattle and shake. But the I mean, fun thing about this was each bone knew which bone was his. Uh -huh. Come on, amen. Yes. Come on. Praise God. When Eve was brought to Adam, he said, This is bone of my bone. Yes. Flesh. Of my flesh. Amen. Yeah. The Bible said, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Yeah. Yeah. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are here. Yeah. Come on, you ain't in the body by accident tonight. Yeah. By one spirit, we have all been baptized into one body. There's many members, but there is only one body. Yeah. And that is all the members that make up this body. We were said laying in the valley and we were dry. Yeah, we were very dry. But when the word of God began to speak in our ears, yeah. and that even though we were dead, yeah. and we still heard the word and yeah. it brought a life back to us. Somebody yeah. out there you go. To the hearing of the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The only part he had to do was prophesy. Uh -huh. He was instructed to prophesy. Yes. God didn't tell him to go up down in the valley and try to figure out which bone went where. Uh -huh. Come on. Amen. Come on. He was merely instructed to prophesy. Yes. That's important to understand. Because we have been instructed, but we think we're supposed to perform the act. Come on, come on, come on, preach it. Come on. And then we think we're supposed to, and then, and then open the blinded eyes ourselves. We think we're supposed to, and then lay hands on the sick, and they'll automatically recover because we did it. Come on, come on, come on. Go ahead. Come on, we, we, we take it upon ourselves. Hey Amen. To figure out all the problems. I got your answer. Hey Amen. He didn't instruct you to do that. He didn't instruct you to go down in the valley and put the bones together. He didn't tell you to go down there and wrap tissue and muscle and veins and arteries around the bones. He didn't tell you to try to lay skin upon what you have put together. Was prophesied. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, God can't do what he said he would until what we do what he told us to. Come on, he didn't hurt you. He's got all power in heaven and in earth. But he can't work over disobedience. He can't cross things that happen. 
he said, Amen. He said, prophesy again. Because even though it had come together and had formed human bodies, human bodies are worthless without the breath of life. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lamb of God. Come on, brother. Come on, there's a lot of people out there. Occupying pulpits. Uh huh. Amen. Yes. Come on. Hey, man, that stand behind sacred desk. Uh huh. Yes. And try to declare a word to you. Come on. But what they have is not what God wants you to hear. Amen. Amen. If out of 12 services a month, hey, man, you preach prosperity. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Somebody's not getting what God wants them to hear. Amen. He said the doctrine was for reproof. Come on. Yeah. And then the exhortation. Yeah. And then some of it cuts. And then some of it clips. Yeah. Some of it bangs around at the root a little bit. Come some on. of it charge. Some of it has questions. Amen. But all of it is for the purpose of raising you up to be yeah. something in Jesus. Come on. Come on. Amen. And therefore we cannot be us to be until we hear what God wants us to, uh -huh. but we also do. Amen. Yep. Come on. Right. Because He said to not only be a hearer, right. come on. Come on. Is that right? Amen. the word. Amen. But He said, be a doer Amen. Right. of the word. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Isn't that the word? That's, yeah. the word. That's what he told us to do. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. That's good. Love your brother. Yeah, man. Yes. That's what he told us to do. Uh-huh. Amen. 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 You won't get rewarded for what you don't do. That's for sure. That's right. Come on, come on. It's good. But the reward will come to those that takes even though they got one talent. Uh -huh. yeah. come on. They don't bear it. That's right. come on. They don't hide it. Come on. But they realize that God gave them something. Come on. Yeah. And just because it ain't as much as what you got, it still needs to operate. Yeah. Sometimes God wants to 
speak to someone or something else. First of all, he said, prophesy to the bones. And when the action took place of what he desired to happen, he said, now prophesy to the wind. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, what matter of man is this? That even the winds and the waves. God. But all you gotta do, 
Watch this. Hey Amen. How much rather then when he say it to thee, watch and be clean. Come on. Come on. Come on. How simple can it be? Amen. He didn't ask you to, hey man, bend over backwards and do somersaults and just go watch. So you know what? He humbled himself. And he went down. He dipped himself seven times. Come on. And after the seventh time, yeah. he came up with baby skin. Amen. Come on. Over in Luke chapter 17. Hey, brother, hey, uh, uh, if you don't mind, Brother Larry, go for to Luke chapter 17. Read about three verses starting at 11 for me. Hey, man, let's look at this. Hey, man, over there, there there's some little more lepers over here. Hey man, it's verse 11. He starts. Hey man, go ahead and say, what, read what it says. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he, as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Jesus gone through a place he shouldn't be at. Come on. Because the Jews didn't have nothing to do with that part of the country. They went the long ways to keep from going through there. But sometimes you gotta go the long way to do the will. Come on, brother. Amen. Oh, Come there's on. people everywhere that need help from God. Amen. And while he walks through Samaria, here's Tim. Men that have leprosy. Uh -huh. Amen. They heard about Jesus. Yes, they did. Come on. Yeah. So they started crying out. Amen. Imagine this. Just think about this for a second. Think it. Amen. Think you're in a place. Amen. Where you got a problem. And the one that you know could help you, you in your mind and in your heart will never pass by that way. Because of what is thought about the area in which you live. Because of the people that are around you. Amen. The, the Jews, the people of God will avoid you. Walk a long way to get around you. And in your mind and in their heart, and then these ten men probably figure, hey man, they'll die in that condition. Come on. Come on. Come on. But here is the dawn of this day, and they look up. And they behold Jesus coming their way. Come on. Come on. Could you imagine how they felt? Come on. To actually be able to see Jesus coming their way. That's right. Come on. What would you do? Come on. Come on. When you start crying. Yeah. When you start pleading. When you start hollering. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh Jesus. Come on. Have mercy on us. Hey man, he looked at him. And he said, Go show yourself to the priest, right? Now that's not normal. They were supposed to be isolated, inspected, observed. To see how the condition was changing. Amen. Amen. To observe what was taking place in the area in which this was at. Amen. Come on. But Jesus said, Go show yourself to the priest. 
Ghost. And these ten men turn and they start walking to the synagogue. While they were walking, while they were doing what they were told to do, come on, the Bible said that they were cleansed. Oh, praise the Lamb of God. Praise the Lamb of God. Amen. Hey, uh, Hunter, find me John chapter 21. Verse number five. <coughs> Amen. I'm trying to lay this foundation of all of these different people that were told to do something. Amen. Go ahead in 21 and 5. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. Do you have any meat? He said, No. What did he say, dude? Said unto them, cast the net on the right side of the ship. Yeah. You shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Hallelujah. Jesus. I want to show you this picture because the Lord, Amen, begin to open this up a little bit more for me. Amen. Here are these disciples. They've been out fishing. And they probably done clean their nets and put them away. And here comes Jesus by. And he's, amen, just a simple question. Do you have anything to eat, any meat? Amen. No, oh, we, we ain't got a thing. Oh, but he said, amen, let down your net on the right side. Yes. Come on. Now, they'd already been fishing. Yeah. Amen. They had already been out there toiling and laboring. That was their occupation. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. They required fish to live. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Amen. And they didn't have nothing to live on. Right. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, praise God. Yeah. But here's what the Lord began to speak in my heart. This is what happens when you try to do things on your own. Amen. Yes. Come on. You'll labor, you'll toil, you'll go all night long. But when you're asked what you got, amen, all you can answer, I don't have anything. When you rely on the flesh, amen, it's going to let you down. It's going to cause you to die. It's going to destroy you. Amen. You can't listen to the flesh. you got to listen to Jesus and do things right.
Now, a lot of people, hey amen, just want to hear. They really don't want to see anything. Oh, man. But these people hung around and hey amen. Jesus saw, hey amen, a couple of boats out there. And he, he went down and got in Simon's. And there wasn't nobody there. They were home resting. Come on, brother. Because they done been up all night long. The flesh. The man. The flesh. Yeah. Flesh warm out. Come on. They didn't have nothing to show for it. Jesus said, launch out. Get off the bank. Come on, too many people are trying to wrap that net around something off of the bank. And, amen. The truth is, amen, minnows will slip through the netting that they use. It's too small. It won't benefit. It won't do anything for them. Oh, every now and then they catch a little bit bigger one. And let's get it all out into the deep. Let's swim in there. Let's get out where things are at. Where things can happen. Where blessings are at. Oh, come on. We got to go where God wants us to. Or we'll never receive what God wants us to have. Amen. Lord, I know you mean well. But we're fishermen. When we do this all the time. And when we have, we, we've been all, all, all night long, we've been out there. We told. That means they really labored. They, they were trying hard. They, they wasn't just out there to relax. They had a purpose. They was after, amen, this substance. Amen, but in the flesh, they couldn't get it. Come on, amen. But Jesus said, they were told to launch out and get ready for a drought. Uh -huh. Here he says, look, well, I've, been, I've been doing this all night long. I'm worn out. I'm tired. My back's hurting. I'm all right. Hey, man, my legs, I just, I, I mean, I really give it all I have. And I, I don't have anything left. But nevertheless, yeah, nevertheless, Nevertheless, at thy word, because you said to, I'll let it down one more time. Come on. Glory to God. Oh, they did what they were told to do, didn't they? Amen. Go ahead and read that last one. Yeah, start at 6 of chapter 9 of John. Reaches down and picks it up. 
begins to roll it together. Come on. He began to roll it together. Come on. Come on. He went over it. And you will know what's worse, other spitting on ground, rolling in his fingers. It was that he rubbed it. Come on. Amen. He said you'll be blessed. 
blessed in the city. You'll be blessed in the field. You'll be blessed in the fruit of your body. Amen. You'll be blessed in the fruit of the ground. You'll be blessed in the cattle. Every area of your life will be blessed if you hearken. Amen. Come on. That's the word. If you listen and do what I tell you to. Amen. Come on. Verse 15, he said, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken. Come on, brother. Amen. If you choose not to listen to the word that I give you in the commandments, amen, of the Lord thy God, and to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. Yes. Amen. Come on. Come on, don't just be a hearer, church. Come on. Therefore, or because of your obedience, because you do what the Word tells you, what God wants you to do. Amen. You see, the reason why we can't advance is because we haven't listened to the last. Come on. We can't go ahead until we catch what we need to. Amen. And once we do what we've been, amen, God has instructed us, then we can take to and go to the next level. Amen. But God's not going to bless you until you hearken and you listen and you follow and you obey. Amen. What is that verse? If you're obedient, something he said he shall eat the good of the land. If you're willing and obedient. He shall eat the good. Come on, he said, if you hear these statutes in your heart and you do what I tell you. Remember, I just gave you five, six illustrations of people that were told to. And they did. And something great, something powerful, something out of the ordinary took place for them. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to let it go over our heads and say, well, it wasn't for us tonight? Come on. Come on. That was for somebody else and they're not even here. Come on. Come on. If you're here, evidently God wanted you to hear this. Amen. Come on. Because I didn't tell brother sing about the Valley of Dry Bones. All right. Come on. I didn't tell him to testify about the the dry bones. Come on. Come on. They didn't know what I had come down here with. Amen. But I want you to know something God knows. Yes, he does. Amen. Yes, he does. You ain't full of nobody. You might get by the pastor. You might get by Brother Dewey and some of those that sit around you. But if you're not obedient to the word that God gives you, you ain't getting by God. Amen. Amen. Oh, we just need to set them buckle down and, and, and amen. Let's, let's just enjoy the ride. Amen. Because we can have the good if we'll listen. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Isn't that right? That's right. Amen. The blessing comes. You don't have to say something for a sacrifice. Just be obedient. Uh-huh. Because obedience is better. Isn't that right? Obedience is better. Than a sacrifice. Come on. He said, if you give your body to be burned, don't have charity. Come on. You can make sacrifice upon sacrifice upon sacrifice. But if you're not obedient, you have not accomplished anything. We must be a doer of the Word of God. That's right, brother. I was first going to title that. I did what he said. But as I got to study, Lord God, to them, my spirit said, therefore, see the result and the blessing or the curse that you have is because of the choice and the decision that you make. Yeah. Therefore, because you chose to not listen and not obey, things are hard in your life. Problems and trials are 
multiplying heartaches left and right. But the blessings will come when you do one thing. Okay. Hearken to the voice of God. Amen. Amen. I believe we're the children of God. Does anybody believe that? Amen. I believe that he wants us to prosper and be in health. Amen. But it hinges upon one thing. As your soul prospers. Come on. Yes. Come on. He, he, he began to talk about about how they were seeking to please and satisfy their flesh. But he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his and then what's going to happen? Oh, oh, come on, somebody. All these other things that people are killing themselves over. Come on. They are destroying their life and their walk and relationship with God <coughs> just to have a better life here on earth. But I'd rather live in a deep, dark grave and know. Well, don't do that again. 
Come on, church. Come on, God. Let's tell you, you don't want to be whipped and you don't want to be chided with. And you want to, amen, and, uh, experience the hardness and the roughness, amen, of what life, amen, the reverse side of life, amen. You need to find yourself a place and begin to turn things around, amen. The only way, amen, to turn it around is to repent. Amen. Come on. Amen. Because repent means to do it about face. Turn around, turn away. Amen. And walk a different direction. Right. Amen. I want you to know the Bible said he's faithful and just to forgive us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. We didn't think it was a sin, but if it's disobedience, I'm sorry. It's sin. Amen. Come on. Come on. There's a lot of people on TV wouldn't tell you nothing like that. Amen. That's, right. That's why I ain't on TV. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Because I ain't one to, hey amen, build something, a kingdom here. Hey amen, that God's going to tear down. But I'm working for the kingdom of God. And I'm going to see it built up. And the only way you're going to build it, hey amen, is by preaching the word. Hey amen, being instant in season. And out with proof and rebuke and exhorting with all long suffering. Hey amen, because we are in the day when they turn away their ear from the truth. And they're turned on the fable. They don't want to hear the word. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear. Jesus is coming back. Yeah. You got people standing in pulpit declaring that Jesus is not coming back. But the Bible said unto them that look for him shall he appear. But 